Hey guys, I'm Myla Jasper. Welcome back to Well the Punny. And today I wanted to talk about exactly how pole dancing helps me cope with anxiety. Before I even get into it, I just want to state that anxiety can only form when we're not in the present moment and it is not an emotion that we have to identify with. It is just something that flows through us and there are healthy ways for us to cope with it. Something you may have heard by now is that it's important for us to actually sit with our emotions to feel them and not intellectualize them. But me personally, I can't help but to intellectualize every emotion that's thrown my way and I know I'm not alone. And because I tend to intellectualize them, this causes me to sit with anxiety for far longer than I really need to. And we don't want to numb ourselves and we definitely don't want to run away from our problems. So the only way really out is through. I find the best coping mechanism for me is to just move my body and pole dance is my preferred method. Now, it's really important to emphasize that it's not just pole dancing that helps me cope with anxiety or any emotion that I'm feeling. It's the way I pole dance that really helps me. And this is something that I do regardless if I'm feeling anxious or not. What I love about pole and what has kept me doing it for so long is that it brings me to a meditative state. I always say pole dance is like my yoga. I don't just pole dance to pole dance. I'm not just trying to get a move. I am actively bringing my awareness into my body. Now, if you're not doing this while you dance, then this might not be the best method for you when overcoming anxiety. The reason why it helps me is because it gets me out of my head and into my body, which is allowing me to feel my emotions without intellectualizing them. Now, even if I have a certain move or combo that I really, really want to try while I'm training, I'm not simply dancing just to dance or get that move. My main goal during every pole session is to be mindful, present, and fully in tune with my body. My secondary goal is to do that while attempting to achieve a certain move or combo. If you don't already do this while you're training, I really recommend you give it a shot because it's what makes me love pole so much and why I'm excited to soon start teaching because I just want everyone to have this experience. Bringing our awareness into our bodies during every session is not only the best way to cope with any emotion that you're feeling, but it's a great way to get into a meditative state, to connect with that divine feminine energy that is within every single one of us, and to release any lingering trauma or pain that's dwelling inside of our bodies. Pole dancing is so transformative and healing for so many people and it is specifically for these reasons. So I wanted to give you guys some tips that help me get into a meditative state for any pole session. My first tip is to take your time with your stretching. It's extremely important enough to get our bodies properly warmed up before we even get on the pole, but this is also a great time to start prepping your mental state. You really want to make this a sacred ritual and not rush it one bit. You're going to want to turn off your phone notifications, light some incense, burn some sage if you have it to really cleanse the air and just set the tone going into your session. I recommend playing sensual music and to really dance and flow through your stretching and make it its own art form. You really just want to spend time with yourself. Before beginning your freestyle or your combo, you really want to take the time to connect with the music. Feel it flow through your body and allow it to really sweep you up to its frequency. You want to actively be breathing in and out and making sure that your inhales are allowing your stomach to expand. I know it's challenging, but try your best not to think about anything that you want to do or achieve during this session. Really allow your body to just flow and do not put any restrictions on it. You can have a couple things in mind that you want to do, but don't attach yourself to that outcome because if anything, that might just create more anxiety if you end up not achieving those moves. If you end up doing a move that wasn't a part of the plan, just keep dancing anyway. Let it flow. Let your body do what it wants as long as it's safe. Chances are you'll end up liking the accident more, or if anything, you'll uncover new transitions and shapes that you wouldn't have tried otherwise. And lastly, you must surrender to your emotions. Feel them pulling you and guiding you to move in different directions. Do what feels right and don't care or think about what it looks like. Just move. As much as it sucks to feel sad, worried, or anxious, these emotions are actually very powerful and we can utilize them if we know how to properly cope with them. Emotions can really be used as a superpower when we don't allow them to take over our minds. All of my moody pull sessions were some of my best flows because I was totally out of my mind and I just surrendered to everything. And sometimes emotions are honestly a catalyst for even getting me on the pole. If my heart's really heavy and I decide to get on the pole, that's putting more hours towards my training time, which is improving my skill set, improving my transitions, and overall just improving my strength. When we can shift our perspective and really look at the benefits of having these negative emotions, you realize these emotions aren't really negative at all. It's just a different feeling and when you utilize them properly, you can actually benefit a lot from these feelings. 
I know it can be hard having the motivation to even get out of bed sometimes when your emotions are really heavy, but getting over that initial hump is the hardest part. If you can at least get up and just try something on the pole, I can almost guarantee you're going to feel at least a little bit better afterward. I hope this video was helpful for any of you out there who also experience anxiety. I'm not sure if anxiety is anything that can be cured, but when it does pop into our lives, we always have the opportunity to move through it with grace and honor. We cannot escape the pendulum of life, but we can always find ways to cope with it. Happy dancing!